which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential vector. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Look out! Oh shit, I can't move. What the hell is happening? Game, please. Controller, please work. Oh shit, shit. Wait, I think I can nuke him this time. Ah. We can't let the monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. I agree, Cortana. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A Starship's fusion reactors going critical will do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant battle net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. That's funny that they don't see you when you're behind the shield. I haven't located the crash. Yet. We need to buy some time in case the monitor or his sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device. How's my love feel? Wait, we should commandeer one of those banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator in time. I agree, Cortana. She's such a smart woman. I think it's time for me to face it. I just suck with that damn thing.
Hey, you're purchasing Winrar. Let's get moving. The nav point marks our target. That's the pulse generator. The center core is the signal. Objective accomplished. The pulse generator has overloaded. The generator's central core is offline. Well done. second pulse generator is located in the adjacent canyon. Move out and I'll mark the target with a nav point when we get closer. Head through that door. That's the way to the next canyon. Oh, you're telling me I can have this thing now? Oh, it's a quad... Oh, this is about to get crazy. Yes. All right, so we need to go backwards from assault on the control room. Everything's literally in reverse. I bet Bungie was mad happy when they realized they could just make you play the same envir environment over again. Not once, but twice. Three times, actually. To help you save, well, they probably saved a lot of time. I know they're hella time constraints when it came to this game, developing it, that is. Oh shit. Alright. Blunderbuss is not going to be that efficient. By efficient, I mean time efficient. This, however, would be time efficient if the guns wouldn't phase into walls. Son of a bitch, where am I going? Give me that mo give me that sword. Wait, a diamond sword doesn't insta kill flood. What? What is this madness? Inferno, I want a refund.
I missed the knock the knockback sword is the one that I want to be using. That one is just hilarious to fucking run around with. And that flood just blew himself up. Flood AI were really hella dumb in this game. And this mod just highlights it. <laughs> There's another one, he just killed himself. Oh, that's a lot of minis. Flappy Banshee head ass. Oh, don't fall off the map, Jules, please. Why is it going the wrong way? Shit. Get off me. Okay, where am I going? Here we go. And backwards arrows. Okay, let's take care of the next pulse generator. Yo, I'm not doing too good. Oh, we gotta go way the hell up over there. Oh wait, we got a banshee. We're straight. Oh hey. annoying okay thankfully we got a good checkpoint this time okay let's take care of the next pulse generator I really messed up with that let's get in quick I said quick game please shit we're gonna die My god, you literally have to get into that banshee okay, so fast. Let's take care of the next pulse generator. I can't get in. What the hell? Oh no. Someone just said oh no. Okay, well it's not one that we can drive, I guess. Okay, let's take care of the next pulse generator. That's unfortunate. Oh 
god. Alright, no. I'm I'm gonna make this Wraith mine. There we go. Yeah. This might take now, assholes. Is that a regular warthog? And marines. They clearly aren't supposed to be here. Showtime. Oh shit, normal warthog my ass. All right, let's do this. This is hysterical. This is underrated. Y'all can take care of that while I take care of this. That did it. The pulse generator overloaded. One more to go. down 1200 kilometers up spin energy readings show her fusion reactors are still powered up All right. the systems on the pillar of autumn have fail safes even i can't override without authorization from the captain we'll need to find him or his neural implants to start the fusion core detonation that tunnel leads to the next section of canyon the final pulse generator we need to destroy is through there <laughs> the way he's holding this turret is so natural Man, come on, that's so lame. What the? There it is. Right on. Nice and smooth now. Well, guys, I can't take y'all with me.
Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Another music cue then start. Alright. Man, just let me use the damn banshee. You really want me to suffer. I'm starting a little sleepy here. As of right now, while I'm playing this, I'm actually trying to pound these last five missions out. Well, after this one, there's only two more, or one more, because Keys isn't in the mod. But, uh, yeah, I had a long work day, but still wanted to get these videos done today. Play him out, enjoy it, and go ahead, throw the footage into Vegas, do some minor cuts, and get all up. Thus far, I've got to say, this is pretty creative and pretty funny. It's just awesome to see something breathe some life back into this game. Not to Halo or Halo Combat Evolved itself, but specifically the PC version. Actually, let me save a lot of that for another video, though. I'm going to do an overall video review, just talking about the game and how I feel about it. God damn, what the fuck? Okay, so for some reason we didn't get a checkpoint, which is fine. I also went ahead and actually did a quick cheat to drop all weapons just to get a hold of a couple different weapons for the sake of content. And we got the 
well, you'll see what this is. Scarab gun, baby. And then, of course, this one, which is, he calls a... Jesus Christ. Unmodified Halo 1 pistol. Except... It is insanely modified. Oh. Dude, it's literally a Glock. I can barely even single fire it, man. This thing is dirty. Okay. This is fun. Now this is the way that this game was meant to be enjoyed. Just curse the game even more. Oh my god, look at how quick it drops the Wraith Driver, man. This thing is unholy. All this just to get a banshee, man. Ugh. I hate to have had to do that, but I figured. Let's just try out a couple of different weapons that we haven't found and probably won't find because they might just be multiplayer only. I gotta admit, running around with a super version of the Halo 1 pistol is lit. And a Scarab gun is also lit. Final target neutralized. Let's get out of here. Smod is insanely hilarious.